welcome back uh, to another video. <clears throat> Today uh, is Sunday and uh, we have a good bit happening in this video. I don't know whether I'll get it all done today or not. <clears throat> Just where we'll be going up to the slats and probably getting ready um, to get the cattle in. Uh, it, it was arranged to get the cattle in tomorrow, but uh, tomorrow's a bank holiday Monday, so I don't know whether your man's working tomorrow. So we get it ready, it'll be either tomorrow or Tuesday. And then we've loads of haylage to deliver. I think we've the soilage to deliver as well. So there's uh, a lot going on. Um, in the last video, yeah, we tagged those two calves. Um, there's just two cows left to calve, this one and this one. So we're probably just leaving those two here uh, until they calve. D this one's actually due today, and then she's not due till November. I think maybe the 10th or 12th of November or something like that. She's a pedigree one. She's only one of two pedigrees that I have left. She's actually a heifer. So, um, anyway, we're hoping she'll, she'll calve okay anyway. So, so yeah, lots happening today uh, and, and probably tomorrow. Um, Friday's video was quite short, so I, I have a, have another video done on the camera. So this is Sunday, so I might actually put one out. Uh, I might edit it and get it out to today because um, Friday's one was, was just very short. I was just that busy. I didn't get that much ca uh, camera work done. So, um might just give give you an extra one today. down where these horses are <clears throat> giving them a bale of haylage they always come up to the gate it's impossible to get in and out most of the time uh, unless you have someone with you so I'm just not sure whether that gate down there is dividing these off because uh, the feeders then do their field <clears throat> I hope that gates open and it, because It'd be really difficult not to let them make it mixed. But anyway, I may tractors up here. I may come down the tractor before I open this gate because they're just going to try and get out. <laughs> it's actually bank holiday Monday. Cracking morning this morning, but sure, they're, they're giving. Weather warnings and rain all week. So I got into this field here, but we're gonna he's gonna have to change around the system because it's impossible for me to get through that gate with horses either side and they're looking to get out through the gate all the time. I'm gonna get caught out where the horses are gonna get mixed at some point. So he's either gonna have to change his system or think something else because uh, he'll go mad then if I let the horses get mixed. I have to bring a bale down here individually to these horses for the whole winter. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but he's a good customer, so just have to just have to do it. I just have to. Put Just going to stick on the trailer now and I have to bring over a load of haylage to Country Cottage Stables just uh, where I went with that single bale of haylage as well and then there's another load of haylage to go over to Drumbon and then it'll probably be tomorrow or the next day I have to go with a load of silage out just out past round but I think I need to get his air coat off him. Uh, he, he wants a load to see what it's like he potentially wants 100 bales so um, we'll bring that out to him and then we'll be moving the cattle as well um, 
Yeah, today's bank holiday Monday. I had forgot that. I haven't rang him. He hasn't rang me, so I presume it'll be tomorrow. Um, but I forgot today was a bank holiday. We had organised it for today, but um, I'd say it'll be tomorrow. shed ready not sure what way to do it I want to try and give them as much lie back as possible I didn't know whether to maybe bring this back down here and give them an extra bay the more the better and um, it means to be sort of using less straw if they have a bigger area so um, just not sure what schooners coming up he's just coming up for a few minutes to give us a hand lift these off um, they're, they're quite heavy so just sort of need someone else to lift them off just have the gates up now we'll just have to take this one down and I'm going to leave it over there beside the crush with the other one and then um, when I have the cattle in I'll decide what way I'm going to do the lie back we, we, we just took one of the creep gates from down the bottom there and we stuck it there the only fault I have with that is it's not in the corner I always try and have the creep gate in the corner so that you can pin calves to go out through it if needs be but anyway just need to roll out the bales of straw and oh we need to put the barrier back on the front the feed barrier and then we're ready to rock we're ready for cattle tomorrow hopefully just need to move that straw and all but sure I can do that tomorrow I can do that whenever just take down this gate I'm just videoing on my phone. I don't know whether this will work now, whether I'll be able to upload it onto the computer for the video or not. Um, just the battery died in the GoPro um, and I didn't get to video uh, loading the cattle or anything. So I just have a couple of rolls of plastic up there that I need to just move and then uh, throw out all these bales of straw. Like we hit myself and Schooner, we got close to the gates uh, set up today and I have a creep gate there. I think I showed it on the video on the GoPro earlier. I just need to. Um, Sort out a few things. Uh, yeah, it was only it was only two load, and we brought them up. There's a couple of small ones at home that I can bring in the trailer, and then there's two cows still at home. You still have to calve. So other than that, then everything's here. So um, hopefully, I'll be able to upload this onto the video because I've never done it with my phone before. I know other people do, so. Um, Hopefully it'll work. Uh, I just need to give them silage then as well. The heifers are there away from the bull, you see. The bull's up there, and I'm going to put all these in here. So I need to do this straw first, and then let everything in. I can open that top gate. And then I just need to give them a couple of bales of silage, and then I need, up to, need to load a load of haylage and bring it home with me, and I'll give it to your man in the morning. Oh, there's a couple of holes there where I would have had... Um, where I would have had posts, I need to completely block them with straw or put a bag in it or do, and fill them up so that the cattle don't put their legs down in it. So that's it. Winter has arrived. The cattle are in. Um, just turn the camera there. Like it's, it's given an atrocious week again. 
Um, there's to be some storm on Wednesday as well. So like, as you can see, um, with those, like they're very small little lads. And actually, now that they're in, I actually have the vaccination for pneumonia and black leg. I think it's Covexin 10 or Covexin 8. I'm not sure, but I have. Then the Bovi Pass, uh, the Bovi Pass is for pneumonia. It's the, it's the pink one, but I'll show you. But so I might do that. They need to get the injection a month apart. So I might give them the first one this week. And then the cows will actually be getting vaccinated for lepto as well. Uh, because the bull is actually with the cows now. He's going with the cows now. So uh, normally it'd be the 1st of November, but look, it's only, it's only a day away. So I'll just leave them in. What's the point in keeping them separate? So, um, so yeah, if it's to be wet, so we might as well come up here. Everything's in the shed now. Uh, Brush there and we will vaccinate the calves. Now there's still some of them need to be dehorned, but what I might do is wait until all the vaccinations are done and then dehorn them because um, it'd just be a little bit hard on them doing everything at the one time. So that's sort of the plan going forward. Um, and we'll see how things go. I had forgot that the feckin' fork was broke. I broke it here when we're at the slurry. So I'm just throwing out these bales uh, by hand. But look, I have two of them done there. There's a tree, I can't remember two. Giving them a good bed for the start. Putting a lot in it at the start. Like I think I had six or seven bales here in that. Give them a good bit at the start. Because like, there'll be cows are bulling in here. The bull will be bulling cows on it as well and just messing it up. So, and. There, there's actually gaps. I don't know whether I mentioned it before. I probably did. There's gaps in the sheet, and, and like more more rain comes in there than you think, and uh, if 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 wets it, like you can see. Actually, hold on. Let's check. You can see the water that comes in, and down there is wet as well. So like it's not like an ideal. But anyway, look at. Um, I I think. It's a good big lie back for what cows I have this time. Like last year they were locked onto the slats. So I just didn't, just the way things were, I didn't, I couldn't give them a lie back uh, because I didn't have enough straw. Um, hopefully I'd have enough this year anyway. Um, but like they have a good big lie back now. And so look, we'll see, we'll see by Christmas what way we're going. And I might maybe have to lock them in on the slats for a while and then maybe let them back in on the lie back, something like that, might have to alternate it. But so look, we'll see how things go. And I'll finish off throwing out this straw, as I say, I have to do it by hand now, of no fork. Tell you one thing, that, that looks a whole lot better, having them in like that. Now, I'm not sure that lie back's gonna be big enough. There's still two cows to come that are due to calve, and then two, there's two little lads. I don't know, I'll probably put the little lads maybe in there with the, heifers maybe but there's one little lad definitely would need meal uh, it'd be better if he was in here with the calves because so probably start giving those calves a little bit of meal now now that i've set up a creep gate but the other go the other heifer really could do with maybe a bit of meal as well so but i don't want her in here with the bull so i don't know what i'll do maybe i'll leave her at home so, but that looks an awful lot better now they're snugger there and um heifers are down there in a pen their own so just need to put out three bales of silage here and a bale for the heifers. I'll probably put out the stuff that was hit that we made here that was green. So it's, it's probably still green grass because we only done it there 10 days ago. So um, I would say that it's, it's green grass. So we'll put it out there and see what it's like. Now the only thing is if no, if no lights out there, we may just use the, the tractor lights. So um, there'll be snugger tonight anyway. But, but, and it's absolutely teeming rain, you can hear it there. So winter, winter's here, and that's it. I know other people have cattle in maybe for a lot longer. Oh, that light there. Um, a lot longer, maybe for the last month because of wet weather. So um, we're, we were sort of lucky. They weren't plowing the place up and I had a bit of grass for them. So uh, it wasn't too bad. So um, no, I'm happy, I'm happy to have them in. I'm really happy to have them in and we can work on building the numbers again then, you know what I mean? So, uh, and I, now that I have the heifers in, look into synchronizing them and look into what bulls I'm going to use. There's five there, there's one pedigree shorthorn, as I said, there's no loads, uh, 
three pedigree Simmentals and a commercial heifer. So need to look into what I'm going to put with them at the minute. And um, we'll keep you informed. We'll go give these silage now. Just loaded a load of haylage. Um, I'll just bring it home with me when I'm going home. So, uh, and I'll, there's no point in going to your man now. Just heading, probably heading for eight o'clock. I will just bring it home and I'll go to him in the morning. And then I just need to sort other stuff out here tomorrow. And then I think of drawing silage then again Wednesday. So. Just an update on the puppies. Ah, I don't know whether you can see them or not. Oh, they're hanging out, hanging out with Daisy. They're huge, look. She hops in and out. This is, I think I said before, this is a welcome box, but like they're, don't know whether you can see them properly or not. Look, oh, they're huge. That is it, bales of silage are out. So that's all I can do for, for now. Um, I've no fork, I may buy a couple of forks tomorrow, but I'm gonna bring the little McCormick tractor and leave it up here, bring the fork and the bucket and the spike, and then it'll be here, because there's 50 bales here that I said already that I can use from here. I don't have to be drawing any up. Um, look, sir, it's practically still green grass. It's green grass, the only thing is, now some of it was wet when it was being baled, but like it was only, it's only 10 days wrapped. So, we'll give them that. Anyway, I'm gonna finish off this video now. Um, because I try and edit it for tomorrow. Hopefully I can get this phone stuff onto, uh, upload it onto YouTube. Hopefully I can. If not, uh, I might finish off the video tomorrow. So finish it off now uh, on the phone. So again, hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks very much for watching. And please give it a like and please subscribe. And we will see you at the next one.